From the conceptualizing phase, we begin to look at the desired color, material, and finish, known as the CMF of the product. In order to keep brand recognition and the subdued lightness of the existing rest, we decided to match the frosted white color. Several sketch concepts showed clocks that were only visible when turned on. However, before proceeding in any further design refinement, we need to see if that's a feasible option. To incorporate a hidden clock, we began testing different technologies, material opacity, and light sources. By shining an LED through a thin, opaque section, we learned that the LED display must be in direct contact with the surface of the diffuser material for the display to be clearly visible. Testing a transparent LCD showed that the LCD had to be curved and in contact with the diffusive material if the back light is diffuse. Using the LCD and a point light source was effective at displaying the time, but showed harsh shadows on the subtle light of the diffuser. From these tests, we determined a thin material in contact with an LED would result in the best hidden display clock. The existing product features a smooth texture that is important to the overall feel. We match this texture by comparing to a binder of mold texture options. It's important to establish the texture early on as more aggressive textures require more draft to eject from the mold. This extra draft needs to be accounted for in the design. 